Because I swear, I've definitely seen this image. It's just, the background feels completely different. Maybe it is just a HD overall, like, thing, like, taking effect. Having finished, I start to retract my hand, but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. But wait, uh, just for a little longer. It feels really nice. Uh, I keep my hand still against Yuri's cheek. Or neck, sorry. She looks into my eyes. It's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze, enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? Is the aroma of jasmine oil giving me this feel dizzy feeling? I begin to feel dizzy. Yuri's gentle fingers wrap around my wrist, sending a, a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. Ah. Uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. It's fine. Huh, I wonder why she's feeling lightheaded, guys. Can you tell me? I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. Now that I realize it, isn't Sayori like going to be like outside the window right now, just peeping in on us? Yo, Sayori, get in here! Come on! Don't be outside by yourself. In that case, I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Phew. <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? Uh, no, it's not that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. I understand why. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. It is though. It is. It is. Just shut up. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, I kind of say that without thinking. About today. It's fine that we didn't have as much time as we wanted, because we can do this again. Whenever you want, you can come over, or we can go out somewhere. Oh, I forgot, you don't like going out. But as I stumble over my words, Jerry simply uh, smiles bashfully. A anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, so... You're very thoughtful, Joseph. Here he takes a step closer to me, then briefly squeezes my hand. Phew. <laughs> Mm, it's getting a bit warm in here. I kind of like that about you. Well, how am I supposed to respond to that? But I don't even get the chance to, as Jerry suddenly pulls back. Is it Sayori? Eh? Uh, uh, hi, Joseph. Sayori? Just now, we weren't... <laughs> it's okay, Joseph. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh, um, well, it's nice to see you. I'm sorry, but I'm already on my way to leave. Aw, oh, really? That's too bad. I'm sorry, but we'll all be together at the festival tomorrow, so... So that's fine, right? Of course, Sayori beams. I yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. Clearly embarrassed, Yuri hurries off. Sayori waves goodbye after her. Sayori? I thought you didn't want to come over today. <laughs> well, I try staying in my room, but my... Oh, yeah, no, okay. I'm sorry. This is going to be horrible, but I'm going to have to skip all this. I can't do this, man! Okay, I, uh, again, I, as I said before in the last episodes, I was being an asshole. <sighs> You'll always be my dearest friend. Oh, I can't do this, man. I, I see. Siori forces a smile through an incredibly pained expression. <laughs> Is this what it feels like to get stabbed in the chest? I should write a poem about this. Sayori? It's okay. This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, don't worry about these stupid feelings. I, I know I know you're right. I knew this whole time that there's no happiness down this path. That's why I came here. So I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing, you're also right that I just wanted to go back the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Joseph. I'll trust you with anything. Anything at all. So... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loud as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one more weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! I'm left helplessly standing in front of my house. Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's nothing more I could have done. The most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help on the path that's right. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if, if I should have done something more or something different. I know these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. I'm, I'm going, going to give, give it everything, everything I've got. got. Sayori will be my dearest friend. I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Oh, fuck, there's no poem. No, there's no poem. There's no poem, Mom. 
And there's no music as well, man. You should take a little responsibility for her, Joseph. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Oh, don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Oh, God, the pamphlets. God, I'm not going to repeat it, but man. <laughs> no! Stop! I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. This is this, this was hard enough when I was editing the series originally, man. Stop. Stop. I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Oh! This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. End. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's already reset itself for me. Back into the literature club once again. That girl is me, Takoto. My neighborhood and good friends since we were children. That's a different place that glitched, not like last time. Start a new game. Whew. Hey, Monica, how are you doing? Yeah. Oh, geez, stop, don't do that. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I'm not have a gun at my head forcing me to say this. Please help me. Stop. I couldn't even read what was in between. You've unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Stare at this dot to reveal a special message. I'm staring at it. Okay, no, this is that. Nah, that's creeping me out. Thanks, Monica. Yeah, and look, there's only two of them now. Oh, uh, no, they did. Yeah, no, they've basically gotten rid of all of things words. They're gone. Like, they don't exist now. Hey, your, your face was glitching just there. Natsuki, don't do that. Is the background moving yet? I feel like it is. Yeah, it's moving ever so slightly, I can tell. Oh, well, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. Ah, uh, I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? Oh, wait, I've, yeah, no, I've done this now that I remember. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck, no, stop, don't do it now, don't do it now. Guys, shield yourselves. As I turn up the volume of my headset.